tied up. Sort of. If you know what I mean. Can we can we still do this? Yeah, okay, yeah. Give me some time, babe. I'll be back. If, it, if it's worth your time, that is. I can do it. It's all right. Hail to the king, baby. <sighs> You're a hard guy to track down. Oh, really? I really? mean, honestly, if you weren't Duke, I don't, I don't know if it would be worth it. I know. I, I, I tend to piss people off because I keep them waiting all the time. Is that how you feel? Do you feel like I've neglected you? Yeah, like I, feel, I, I, you? I just feel accomplished now that we're finally here doing this. It's finally so. happening. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. Yeah, but, dude, you're fucking Duke. I know. You're fucking Duke. Like I have been for a long time. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's settled it, into me. I, I'm, I'm good with it. Yeah, but you still seem is, to have an issue. With yeah, it, because though. this is the first time that this is the closest I'm ever going to get to Duke. Now, this is the closest you'll ever get to Duke. I hate to say that line again. I really would. Um, so let me uh, just get a little space from you. Um, but what's been taking so long, man? I mean, for forever. I mean, I had dude, this. This is the Chinese democracy of fucking video games at this point. Well, I had furry conventions to attend. Oh, I, I, I had other things I had to do. I had radio commercials I had to record. I mean, what kind of radio commercials? You know, monster truck rallies and political ads and, you know, car dealerships. But These things are important to me, this, you know. This is more important than kicking ass and chewing bubble gum? Sometimes it is. I, I don't, I, I really don't see the connection. I'm sorry. I have to pay the rent. Doesn't Duke pay the rent for you? Dude, come on. Duke pay my rent? You serious? You could, you could just kick down your was... landlord's door and blast them open. That money was spent 14 years ago. Well, you see, if you would have gotten the game out sooner, we wouldn't be having this problem. Okay, my bad, my bad, but guess what? What? It's coming out now. About time now. It is about yeah, time. Yeah. Have you waited forever? I have waited forever. About now as long here. as I waited for Chinese democracy, and I better not have the same payoff where it's just a mediocre piece of shit. Duke Nukem Forever, piece of shit? Really? You think that's possible? I think it's possible. I've played it. You've played it? I've played it. Can I play it? As soon as it comes out, you can. Where were we? Uh, I was going to ask you if you could preview us with some one-liners that are going to be in forever. Okay. Uh, I can tell you some lines were replaced. You remember in the original Duke Nukem 3D, Duke would say stuff like, I'll rip your head off and shit down your neck. The new line, replacing that one, is, Oh, rip out your eyeball and piss on your brain. That's one of my favorites. That's pretty suave. Yeah. Uh, what about some other ones? Give us, give us one or two more. Um, your face, your ass, what's the difference? Come here and take some more, douche nozzle. Um, bring it on, bring it on, what okay. Else, what else did we record on <laughs> Duke Nukem Forever? It's so hard to just bring these up from you, because I have the short-term memory problem. Oh, I'm sorry. Plus, I also have a short-term memory problem. Oh, really? So, it's really hard for me to remember these lines. Due to this problem I have, it's a... Uh, uh, short-term memory problem? I have a... Yeah. Wow, you're clairvoyant. Yeah, I, I can read minds sometimes. Can I call you Claire? No, but I'll have you kill my best friend for me. I can do that because I'll forget about it. Yeah, exactly. No worries. You're, you're the perfect scapegoat, just like that movie, Memento. That's what I'm here for. All right, so you gave us some lines. Um, it's finally coming. How are you going to celebrate? Uh, I am going to celebrate probably by returning to Maui. Maui? I, I went to Maui for my birthday in December. And oh, how I, was and, it? And I loved it. I'd never been to Hawaii before. Oh, okay. Absolutely fell in love with it. I think when the game comes out and I really get to celebrate, I'm going to Maui. All right. That's so. What I'm uh, as we get some stage direction from our director over there, I think I know where your furry problem comes from. What is my furry problem? Didn't you do the voice of Big the Cat in Sonic Adventure? You had to bring it up, didn't you? Yeah. Didn't we talk about this before the interview? Didn't I say don't bring up Big the Cat? Because I, I, I kind of have to. Okay. Technically, I'm no longer the voice of Big the Cat. They've hired somebody mm. else to do it. But, yeah, yeah. On Sonic Adventures, that was me. Uh, that probably contributed to the furry problem, but it also contributed to the fatty problem. True. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, Duke was kind of an 80s spoof kind of character back in the 90s, and it worked back then. But gaming has kind of gone in a different direction now. And now a lot of those characters that you were making fun of are the same character stereotypes that are prevalent today. Exactly. How does that affect the character? 
Not in the least. Duke is still the most misogynistic superhero ever. But the babes love him, and they take what he has to offer. Now, how's the gore level in the game? Gore level is good. Gore level is high. So we're talking about dismemberment, beheading. Really bloody, really gory, brain matter, the whole works. You're going to love it. If you like gore, you're going to love it. Now, what about the boob factor? Boob factor amped up way beyond your wildest expectations. At the end of every level, once... Thank you for that. Once Duke has... (laughs) Once Duke has defeated the boss on any particular level, Mm -hmm. his babes repay him in kind. Know what I'm saying? You want to dance? Shake it, baby. You want to dance? Now, uh, please tell me you're not going to go the Bioware route and you're going to have, like, uh, clothes on clothes. Please tell me that's not going to happen. I, I'm just the voice actor. I can't tell you that. I, you know, no, that's you're the man. Hands. You can tell me this. No, it's out of my hands. I have no control. Sorry. He's holding out. I it's know the he way is. It is. No, I know he is. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'll take your word for it. I'll all take right, your then. word for You're it. You're going to have to because that's all I got. What kind of music plays in your head In your head, when you look in the mirror? Death metal. Any band in particular? Uh, you know, maybe some Anthrax. Uh, Oh, Megadeth. I, I figured it'd be Megadeth, right, right, right there. You know, oh, Megadeth it, did such a great yeah, cover of the yeah. Duke theme, and my personal favorite, actually. Yeah. So, um, now, what about how, how did you get the role? I mean, like, did did uh, 3D Realms come to you? Did you go through a formal audition, or was it kind of like Thunderdome? You know what? I have a feeling. I don't know for a fact, but I think I'm the only person who auditioned for the role because mm. the casting director lives in San Diego, where I live. Mm. I met her back in 1995. She said, "We're casting for this part. Are you interested in doing video games?" I'd never done one before. I said, "Sure." Mm. Auditioned, got the part. Uh, I was kind of hoping it would be kind of like a celebrity death match kind of thing. Two I know, men that enter, would be one fun. man leaves. Like you know? me versus Bruce Campbell in a no holds barred. Yeah, because you know, there was fest. that rumor going around like oh, back yeah. before the oh, internet yeah. that it was Bruce Campbell Could doing the voice. You know? uh-huh. But uh, <sighs> I was hoping that you would walk out with like a, like a freaking beheaded, decapitated head like right here. Like, are you on? I know the visual would be good with yeah. it, but it was my first game, so I didn't over celebrate. Oh, okay, so now you've done Duke, you've done radio, you've done voiceovers. But what's your dream job? My dream job is to be the next movie trailer guy. You remember Don LaFontaine? Oh, Don LaFontaine, yes. Yeah, God yes. rest his soul. He was in a best. world where stuff happens. In a world, in a land before time. I, I, I think job. I think it would be a great a great I replacement. Would, I do too. Well, I can't say replacement because Don LaFontaine is a fucking one legend. One of a kind. One of a kind. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to say um, next in line. How's that? <laughs> I like that. Yeah. That'll next work for next me. in line is a better phrase. That'll work for so, me. So one thing before we get to the final most important question. Yes. Okay. Um, this is not the big most important question, but it's more or less a more tongue in cheek thing. Are you aware that you made a girl cry on the internet? I made a girl cry today. Not not today. This was probably a little while ago, but uh, there's a little video on uh, YouTube called Ventrilo Harassments. <laughs> yeah. you think that's fucking funny? Do you fucking think I'm fucking laughing? I've got balls of steel. Fucking- <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that bitch deserved to cry. <laughs> oh, now, yeah. Now what? What inspired you to go on the internet and just make this girl's life terrible? Oh, you see, you misunderstand. I had no part in that. That, that was, was your voice. Somebody, it was my no, voice on a soundboard. That board, was your voice. But it was a soundboard. That was your voice, It was sir. somebody clicking a button making my voice say that We stuff. don't have that kind of technology. <laughs> don't, don't, don't lie to me. <laughs> Am I missing something? Yes. What? It wasn't me. It was somebody else. But I got to tell you, it's the single funniest video I've seen in years. I really, truly enjoyed it. It was pretty good. It was good. Now, the final question, sir. This, 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 this is, this is, this this is the this final is... question. How many girls have said that they're your biggest fan? Most of them have said that. How actually. many have proven it? Uh, I can't disclose that here on camera with a microphone <laughs> in my hand. And the night is young. So well, you we still got plenty of con left for these girls to, you know, 
prove their words. So thank you very much, Mr. John. It was St. John. my pleasure anytime. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, Duke Nukem Forever coming out finally Rocks. this fall, right? Uh, no, this spring. This March. end of March. March. End of April. Maybe March. April Fool's Day just to really screw with you. Oh, wow. There you go. As we have Oblivion guy yelling at us. <laughs> There's some fans nearby off camera. <laughs> Watch this. You want to see something cool? Okay, listen, camera people. They're all going to say balls of steel. One, two, three. Balls of steel! <laughs> see? Thank you, Entourage. You're too kind. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. <laughs>